One of the things that I do when I'm putting in the main caps is I make sure the caps feel pretty centered in the block. And I can sort of look at the stud to make sure it's going in the center. Of where the stud goes down, rather than just throwing them on there in the old place. Especially on the thrust cap. Just feel it until it feels like it's in the center. Good it's not critical, but when you put a crankshaft in, we uh, give the crank a bit of a bang with a hammer driving this way and then this way to center the thrust cap. A Chevy, of course, is in the rear, the Ford is in the front. rather not in the front, but in the middle. A lot of motors put them in the middle. The caps very often did want the uh, the non-thrust ones, these ones here, don't always fit exactly square in the block. Once again, I look at the way the stud is to line them up, rather than trying to make the cap fit perfectly in the block. The one thing I've noticed on this one, is the threads stop right here just a little bit above the cap. If we were just to put a nut on there, it wouldn't pull down properly on the cap. But it's not a problem with the main bearing support girdle because there's washers welded on to the bottom of the stud. And so we're going to go ahead and put the stud on, or the girdle on rather. Drops on like that. Okay, and we've put it um, in this particular one it's clearance for the uh, oil pump and on Windsor's it'll wrap out around the oil pump on uh, Cleveland's that goes on the inside and so we'll put it on the right way around get our nuts once again a little bit of lubricant it's more important on this side and I'm going to let this drip down because we're going to put a washer underneath the nuts and I want the lubricant to be on the girdle itself to when I put the washers on they're going to end up lubricated on both sides one thing I've noticed right here once again <clears throat> because the oil pump is located here and it gets quite close to the stud they sometimes provide a stud that's a little bit shorter than the rest, and I can see that this is the one here that belongs over there. So I'm just going to move it. Well, it's not dripping down quickly as I want. It's against it's cold today, and everything is stiff to move. Okay. 
actually be able to work it. Give it a turn, make sure it's lubricated all the way around. As I mentioned, the uh, shorter stud in the front where the pump goes, very often you don't put a washer under that one, just to provide the clearance. When you're building stroker motors and doing things like this, very often clearance is a big issue and you're forced to compromise to some degree, giving up having a washer under it. And that is not near as concerning is having an interference fit problem. We'll go ahead and put some more lubricant on both sides of the, the washer. May look like a little bit of overkill. Once again, we're building performance engines and we're expected as engine builders to do the best job we can. I endeavor to do just that. Can I stop the camera once again just for the sake of time?